hello guys welcome back so now from this video onwards we will start working on our parkour system in our parkour system first of all we will be working on the parkour actions which are for example climbing up on this obstacle or this one and also we will be adding the fence jumps okay so that the player perform the fence jump right here or for example on these seats right here okay and on these fences right here as well okay or you can add whatever object you want so for performing parkour first of all we need the environment checker and what that environment checker will do is it will search for the obstacles or you can say the parkour obstacles on which the player will be able to perform parkour for example consider this a fence and this is a box and imagine that this is inside our environment just like these fences on the sides or you can say this one or this box okay so consider that the box and fence so we will create a environment checker using the unity reka system you can read more about unity raycast on the unity documentation but let me tell you what this raycast is is when we cast a ray from some position for example in our case we will be recasting a invisible ray from the player feeds okay and if that ray touches with the fence okay then we will detect that in front of the player is a fence and then according to that fence we will perform the parkour action or for example if the player is walking around in the environment we will be constantly creating a raycast and if that raycast hits this box okay then the player will know that in front of the player is a box so then we will perform the specific parkour for the box okay and as you saw that in our introductory video we perform different types of parkour actions according to different types of objects okay so as i told you when the ray cast hit some objects we will store data about that object that yes in front of the player is a box this is the height of the box this is the width of the box we will store all of that data and then according to that we will perform a parkour action okay it is simple as that if you read the parameters of the physics raycast as you can see the first is the origin this is the origin from where the raycast will be created as you can see the starting point of ray in work coordinates so the starting point or you can say the coordinate will be from the player feet and it will be in the forward direction okay so in the direction we will apply the forward direction and then we can add the maximum distance and also the layer mask okay and in the layer mask what we will do is we will apply a obstacle type of layer mask to all of these obstacles on which we want to perform parkour and then you can read all about the physics raycast right here so i hope you understand how this uh, environment checker will work now before ending this video let's go ahead and set up the obstacles okay so as you know that we have set up the obstacles right here so first of all let's select these uh, chairs or you can say benches and what we will do on this benches is as you can see on this bench we already have the box collider okay so what we will do we will now right here search for bench so search for bench so as you can see these are all the benches okay so what we can do we can select all of them and now we will add a layer mask to them so right here click on layer then add layer and create a layer by the name of obstacle okay then let's select all of them again and add the obstacle layer that's it now the next thing which we want to apply the obstacle layer to is the barrier pack so let's open up the models 
in here you will find all of the models we actually need the prefabs okay so let's go ahead and set them up as well so let's drag and drop this one right here okay then we need this one as well so you can add that one as well right there let's put this one right here okay let me make this zero and also what we want to do is uh, select the first one let's make the scale of it a little bit smaller so 0 0.8 point eight and point eight okay then let's select the second one let's add point eight to this one as well okay let's actually make the length of it as it is okay now let's do this one all right so we will perform parkour on these three as well so just select all of them add the obstacle layer yes chain children and drag and drop them inside the environment okay and now let's select this box from here this is the crate so let's move this crate right there where we will be per performing all of the parkours okay so on this crate add the obstacle layer box collider is already added you can duplicate this and let's move it somewhere right here and increase the size to two okay that's it and now with the obstacle layer added to all of the objects on which we want to perform the parkours so you can also do the same as well okay and when you add the layer let's end this video right here